Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Rhonda Lancaster. I am a 40-year resident of Germantown. My brother here spoke of the nice town, Tioga side. I'm on the southwest Germantown side. If you know the area, there's Fernhill Park. I'm right in the area of the upper end. Well, the bottom end is where the proposed plant is supposed to be. And ironically, I work across the street from there at the Croc Center. Okay, a community institution that um, works for the betterment of everyone in terms of fitness and exercise, mind, body, and spirit. I would make one recommendation. I'm not going to repeat what everybody said, but I've been thinking about this. Take a time. Take some time. Take the bus and subway, take the Broad Street subway up to Broad and Erie if you're on SEPTA, ironically. Catch the Asia XH. Go and take a look at the excavation site. For four months ago, I discovered that they had rigs coming in, cranes, and all kinds of high-end trucks. They were coming in starting very early in the morning until late in the day. I made some connection with some folks in Washington and I sent them the pictures and they told me what has been repeated here, that they did not have permission to start this excavation project. So I would encourage you whether you're on SEPTA or you're driving, go up there and take a look at it and see what they have done to the land up there. And with that, the fight goes on. Hi, it's great to see all of you out here today. Thank you so much for coming. Um, my name is Mitch Chen and I serve on the steering committee of 350 Philadelphia. It is a grassroots organization that works to preserve a livable climate, protect public health, and build a just and sustainable economy. We call for a rapid and just transition from fossil fuels, including natural gas, to renewable energy here in Philadelphia and across the country. Um, we were the originators of the Fossil Free SEPTA campaign and we've been working since early 2016 with nice town residents and organizations across the city to stop SEPTA from building the polluting gas-fired power plant in nice town or in any other location. Very appropriate um, um, setting on the uh, Octavius Cato Memorial for an environmental justice uh, press conference. My name is Maurice Sampson. I'm the Eastern Director for Clean Water Action. Clean Water Action's mission is to protect our environment, health, economic well-being, and community quality of life. We strive to organize strong grassroots groups and coalitions and do campaigns to elect environmental candidates to solve environmental and community problems. It is in that spirit today in solidarity with representatives of the residents of Nice Town, Tioga, and local allied organizations, including the Physicians for Social Responsibility, Neighborhood Networks, Philly 350, and Power, together opposed to the construction of SEPTA's frac gas plant in Nice Town, from whom you will hear over the next 25 minutes. We are also in unanimous support are the positions held in the letters penned by Councilman, Councilwomen Cindy Bass, Helen Gim, Rhonda Reynolds-Brown, and also Curtis Jones, calling for air management services to delay granting SEPTA's air permit for the plant and to allow for an in-depth health impact study to examine the impacts from air pollution. We are clean. Yeah. Yeah. We at Clean Water would like to expand on that request that the health study should include the cumulative impact of all of SEPTA's operations at Midvale, the site of SEPTA's largest bus depot and U.S. Route 1 that transverses the community. I believe the November 17, 2016 vote of SEPTA's board approving this project was a disservice not only in particular to the residents who live within 2.8 miles of the site, but also to the integrity of the SEPTA board itself. I do agree with board member Robert Fox, who stated that day that everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but no one was entitled to his or her own facts. Among the facts, Mr. Fox stated that the project meets all applicable relevant environmental protection statutes that, quote, passed specifically to address the impacts to health and the environment. How can that be so when the facts show the neighborhood where the plant is to be built has some of the highest rates of fine particulate air pollution in the nation? 
had the highest rates of asthma hospitalization in the city. Justifying the facility that ignores these facts, modeling show, because modeling shows emissions to be, quote, below EPA air quality standards, shows no regard for the community, defies common sense, and fits the very definition of environmental racism. The call by the councilwoman to deny the permit and the call for health impact studies is the first step towards environmental justice. Yes. Yes. The laws need to be revised to address a standard that safeguards the health of the community. Ultimately, to resolve this issue, SEPTA must abandon the plant and commit to a transportation system that relies on renewable energy that is fossil free. Yes. The Environmental Rights Amendment of the Pennsylvania Constitution states word for word that the people have a right to clean air. Our Constitution yes. says that. Yes, yes. A groundbreaking PA Supreme Court ruling in June put forward uh, a transformative and broad interpretation of that amendment. And the ruling gives the city of Philadelphia the power and the obligation to go beyond enforcing existing air quality regulations that are already on the books in order protect, to protect our right to clean air and to health. So we believe AMS has the obligation to insist on a complete health impact assessment carried out by independent experts with public input. And nothing short of that will fulfill their obligation to protect our right to clean air. In addition, we call on SEPTA to conduct a full examination of alternatives to the Nicetown gas plant. SEPTA officials assert that they need to build a gas plant because of a concern about the potential for PICO power outages to disrupt regional rail service. But for, for more than a year now, they have refused to carry out a complete study looking at a full range of options for addressing that concern. Why? If it's a real problem, why won't they examine a full range of options for addressing it? It's essential that they carry out such a study now. Sydney Bass could not be here to read her letter, although we feel that she should have been here. We've asked Absolutely. one of the children who live in the community to read her words. Perhaps it'll be more powerful, and it may inspire her that the next time we meet, that she stands here in solidarity. Yeah! What the other folks have said. We're calling for SEPTA to, to commit to using and to make a plan to use 100% renewable energy to power all of our trains, subways, trolleys, and buses. We are thrilled about Mayor Kenny's recent pledge for Philadelphia to transition to 100% renewable energy. The construction of a polluting fossil fuel power plant absolutely contradicts that goal. Good morning, I'm Dr. Walter Tzu. I am the Executive Director of Philadelphia Physicians for Social Responsibility and the former Health Commissioner of the city. I should start off by saying that PSR also welcomes the letters from Councilman Jones and Councilwomen Blondell Reynolds-Brown, Ellen Kim, and Sydney Bass in asking for a withholding of the permit from Air Management Services for the SEPTA Midvale plant until a full health assessment has been conducted. We're very concerned about the fence line communities, as Maurice talked about, that have already have disproportionately high rates of cardiovascular and respiratory disorders, including asthma, which I remind everyone is the leading medical reason why children are absent from school. We know from SEPTA's permit application to AMS that each year they already admit that 27 tons of carbon monoxide, 22 tons of nitrogen oxides, 16 tons of volatile organic compounds will be emitted from this SEPTA. Boo! These precursors of ozone and smog will only exacerbate the airways of our most vulnerable citizens, especially the young and the elderly. Furthermore, EPA standards have not caught up with the full science for the last decade and a half around ultrafine particles. 
we are concerned that these ultrafine particles uh, are associated with higher mortality from respiratory and cardiovascular disease and that these particles can rapidly enter into the bloodstreams of, of individuals causing cellular damage and, and much more than fine or coarse particulate matter. The burning of fossil fuels, including natural gas, continues to emit greenhouse gases and propels us toward global warming. A 20 or 30 year investment in this obsolete, already obsolete technology is like investing in blockbuster video at the dawn of the internet. We know that this future, the future is renewable energies and any major capital expense needs to move us in this direction. We urge SEPTA to hold off any investment in gas plants in the Nicetown area. Thank you. All right. The Philadelphia Neighborhood Networks is in strong agreement with Councilwoman Bass's letter of November 10th and the stated views of Councilwoman Helen Gim and Bondell Reynolds Brown that the gas fired electric generating station near Wayne Junction should not go forward until an assessment of its health impact can be completed, considering the cumulative effects of the multiple sources of air pollution in affecting nearby communities. In addition, members of neighborhood networks object to the Wayne Junction plant because of its production of greenhouse gases and contribution to climate change. We must reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and invest in cleaner, more innovative ways to produce and consume energy, like wind, solar, and geothermal. The members of Neighborhood Network are strong supporters of SEPTA as the region's provider of public transportation. A robust, frequent, high quality, and affordable public transit system will be a potent weapon in the fight against climate change, getting more citizens out of their cars, and thereby reducing the use of fossil fuels and creation of air pollution. However, SEPTA's proposed gas fire generating station is exactly the wrong way to go. To meet the threat of climate change, we must move rapidly away from all fossil fuels, including natural gas. Burning natural gas produces less CO2 than coal or oil, but its primary ingredient, methane, is itself a greenhouse, a powerful greenhouse gas, and any leakage between the well and the generating station exacerbates climate change. Also, the cost of renewably produced electricity from wind and solar is dropping very rapidly. Already in parts of the US, wind and solar are the least expensive ways to generate electricity, and that advantage will only grow. <laughs> During the life of this plant, if it is allowed to go forward, fracked gas will not remain as cheap as it is today. At some point, in response to the climate change, the U.S. will recognize the importance of responsible and far-sighted action and will impose carbon taxes or other restrictions on all fossil fuels. SEPTA will then be paying more for electricity from this plant than they would from renewably generated electricity. So the plant will prove to be an uneconomic, uneconomic stranded asset, not bad not only for the health of residents and surrounding neighborhoods and the climate, but also bad for SEPTA's bottom line. Thank you for your attention. My name is Jay Jean Harrell. I'm a community activist who lives and works in Nice Town Taylor. I stand here today as one of the voices of the community of Nice Town Tioga that is opposed to the septic gas plant. We fully support the letters of Councilwoman Sydney Bass, Helen Gim, and Blondo Reynolds Brown asking that the natural gas plant not go forward before considering a full health study impact. As community members who work and live here and who will be impacted by the emissions, we strongly believe that the plan should be torn up. Yes! Yes! And the, voice of, the voices of the community heard. There have been so many meetings where those who will be most impacted have come out in force to oppose this project. Yet, SEPTA has turned a deaf ear to our words and largely ignored our concerns. Why is that? We care. see this gas plant as another example of environmental racism. It is proposed for our neighborhood and not considered for communities that are more affluent, 
and whose residents are not people of color. Why isn't this gas plant being considered for Chestnut Hill? It would never happen. Why should social status and poverty determine air quality and quality of life? The toxic emissions from this plant will add to an already harmful situation. The asthma rate for children in Nice Town is more than three times the national average, which is 8.4%. Our rate is 31%. That is terrible. Pollution sources from SEPTA's largest diesel bus company, the Roosevelt Expressway, local truck traffic, and a local crematorium already tax the air quality of Nice Town. The health problems that are caused and worsened by this project include heart disease, cancer, sleep disorders, and respiratory diseases. Researchers have found that similar emissions hinder cognitive development in children. It is racist to overburden an already stressed community to more toxic emissions. Yes! Why should our children suffer and die because this plant is placed in a poor neighborhood? We call upon the city of SEPTA, the city and SEPTA, and many times the city is SEPTA, or it seems like, to halt the plans for this plant because they are dangerous. Yes. SEPTA is a servant of the people. Yes. Aren't they? Supposed to be. Don't they work for us? They're not listening to us. They don't believe they're a servant of the people. But they must find ways to operate that will not endanger the health and welfare of all city residents. We must cease the practice of locating harmful facilities in communities of color. Yes in communities where poverty, unemployment, crime, poor policing, and lack of opportunity exist side by side. Yes! This plant will not bring jobs to the community. It's a fully automated plant. They're only talking about three or four jobs. But it will poison our air and affect our lives for decades to come. And it won't just poison us in nice town to Ogun. Eventually, it will poison the entire city. There is no economic, ethical, or moral reasons for this plan to be built. Philadelphia must become a leader in being responsive to the true needs of its citizens. Let us show the world that in Philadelphia, the voice of the people actually carries weight. And the city government is one that is truly by the people and for the people. Let us show that the love that we are named for, the city of brotherly love, is true. And that we shall not poison our brothers and our sisters, our mothers and our fathers, and the children of not just Nice Town Tioga, but the entire city. Thank you. All right. All right. Not a problem. You say you learned from this morning that SEPTA has issued the permit. They've been issued the permit. Okay. Are you aware of that? I am now. Okay, they got it yesterday. You heard it from KYW. We got it from the news. They issued it yesterday. Yes. Okay. So where do you go from here? Well, I would imagine since they are violating our environmental rights, the next place is to court. Yes! 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 The environment is a right. Like free speech is a right. Like the freedom of the press is a right. So our next place, probably, is to go to court. Absolutely. Absolutely. We certainly will, um, you know, we don't have any of our public officials here. I understand. I don't know that council is out of session yet. But it's a good question to ask them. I I also would be curious as to what SEPTA's response is to our questions. Um, acting before they respond to the community, we're used to that. So, um, is this just more of the same? Yes, sir. It's more of the same. That's how they do us.
Well, well AMS is a city agency. Right? They're kind of stuck. They've got to follow regulations, and we've already spoken to them today. The regulations are racist. So, you know, that is why we need to correct that. I can't believe how appropriate it is. I think the statue is starting to smile. <laughs> Different mentality today. It seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge.